In this video, I take my D850, my D500 with the 200 to 500 to a really cool place, Merritt Island Black Point Drive, in search of two really difficult to photograph birds. Come on, let's go check it out. The Black Skimmer, a totally awesome bird with a flair for what appears to be a gracious choreographed flight pattern unlike any other. These birds come flying in at great speeds, positioning their bodies just a few inches from the surface of the water, and then they do something incredible. They start skimming. The lower portion of their beak, complete with tiny hydrodynamic grooves, slices through the water, leaving a small wake in their path. The skimmer is searching for food, and as soon as their lower beak comes into contact with an unsuspecting fish, their head violently snaps backwards, their beak snaps shut, and it's good night for the fish who never once saw death coming in from above. This incredible in-flight capture happens in the blink of an eye. You would think this bird would need a somewhat thick beak, but look at this head-on shot and you will see otherwise. It is super thin and perfectly created to slice right through the water. So how do you capture images of the spectacle of a bird? You have to be in the right place at the right time. You'll need a good steady hand or tripod, an excellent panning technique, a fast shutter speed, a narrow aperture that creates a wide enough depth of field, good light, and good gear that can keep up with all of this fast-paced action. Yeah, you have to micromanage all of these things at once, and being able to do that comes with lots of practice. For all of these shots, I chose a shutter speed of 1 3200th of a second and an aperture of 7.1. When I located these birds, the sun was very close to setting and the light was fading very quickly. I was also using auto ISO, which gave me one less thing to think about as these awesome birds silently whizzed right past my camera. In the last set, I was shooting directly into the light and I really like the simplicity this created as the bird flew in, skimmed, and managed to grab a tiny fish. The light quickly changed as the bird passed me and I got some nice setting sun on the back side of the bird as it flew off into the mangroves. This is the only time I have been lucky enough to witness this amazing act of nature so close and I'm really happy to share it with you today. Merritt Island Black Point Drive is a great place for birds and it's known all over the country for that but it's also home to some very very big alligators just like this beast that decided it was time to move from one part of the marsh to another. In order to do that it had to cross the road and just a small word of warning, if you see an alligator trying to cross the road, don't block its path with your car, and don't hang out of your window trying to take pictures of it with your cell phone. Give these alligators some space. A wise old fisherman once told me that the alligators in this area are a little cranky because they live in brackish water, which is a mixture of fresh and salt water, and that little bit of salt water can make these giant reptiles a little irritable. I don't think this giant had any intentions other than crossing the road, but alligators can move quickly when they want to, and you don't want a big alligator like this moving quickly in your direction. I'm sure you've already noticed just how large this reptile is, thanks to the cars parked in the road for reference. You might have also noticed just how fat this alligator's belly is, and that's a really good thing. This means the gator is eating well. It's the alligators that have trouble catching food that you should be concerned about. But enough of the reptile distractions. Let's see if we can find the always graceful bird that spends most of its time dancing through the salt flats at Merritt Island the always impressive reddish egret. And here's one now, and even in less than ideal lighting conditions, you can see just how beautiful this bird is with that beautifully colored beak. But it's their crazy antics like this that make these birds so much fun to photograph. The real fun comes when the reddish egret starts looking for food. They often run across the flats while throwing their wings up, and when you least expect it, they strike. But this was a failed attempt. Let's try that again. Line up and strike. Once again, a miss, but this is one determined bird. They say the third time is the charm, and for this reddish egret, this proves to be the case. Watch this amazing bird use its wings to block the glare on the surface of the water, and then it manages to grab a fish and gulp it down whole. What an amazing creature. But let's see if we can find one in better lighting conditions so I can get some pictures. Here's a younger reddish egret in much better lighting conditions that is more than eager to show off its crazy dance. Time to see what type of images we can capture of this fantastic and erratic bird. This young bird had plenty of energy and was nice enough to dance around in the shallow water for quite some time. Here's that famous wing display that always looks so cool. I was using a shutter speed of 1 2500th of a second and an aperture of 6.3. Auto ISO was doing a good job in this situation and I dialed in some negative exposure compensation to keep the bird's feathers from being overexposed. This combination proved to work well for the current light 
hiding conditions and the occasional goofy moments like these when this bird would stop and then suddenly change directions and use its wings to sort of prevent it from falling over. It was pretty easy to determine this was an inexperienced bird. It was providing me with plenty of great photo opportunities, but it somehow managed to miss its catch every single time it plunged headfirst into the water. I thought for certain that this last shot would reveal a happy reddish egret with a small tasty fish, but no. And I'm not complaining because this bird put on quite the show. I really enjoyed it. I took one more ride around the area in search of a more experienced reddish egret and I found it. And here's a reddish egret that's a little older. You can easily tell by the coloration along the face, neck, and head. You can also see why these birds were almost hunted to extinction. Look at that beautiful flowing mane of feathers. It almost looks like beautiful strands of auburn hair. Here's something else interesting to note. This shot and all the shots that follow were taken with the D500 and the always trusty 200 to 500. All of you fellow Nikon shooters might be wondering why the shots from the D500 look better than the D850. There's one reason for this. Lighting. This reddish egret had some brilliant light coming in directly from the side. This is so very important. Good light helps capture incredible clarity, color, and detail. But the real question is whether or not this reddish egret can show us its fishing skills. This older, more experienced reddish egret proved to be a much better hunter. With a quick fly in, a lightning fast strike, and now this reddish egret gets a tasty snack. What appears to be a nice casual moment of reflection is really this crafty bird trying to determine the perfect moment to strike. Will this slower, somewhat casual approach to fishing be successful? You bet. This bird knows exactly what it's doing. Time to put on the speedy acrobatics and try again. This is one hungry bird, but I guess that's what happens when you eat small, tiny, bite-sized fish. And another excellent catch with a nice toss into the air for the finish. One more round with that crazy wing display before pulling another fish out of the water. And then tossing it into the air for that final gulp. I especially like how the light came in from the side and really lit up this bird's face. What a beauty. Thanks for coming along. I had a great time. As usual, click that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead. There's like a little button over here somewhere. Click that button and subscribe. And as always, share this video. Share it all over social media. Tell everybody you know about it. That's really helpful to me. And comment too. I really like knowing what everybody thought about this video. The reddish egrets are really cool. What about that gigantic alligator? Girl, the thing was huge. And then the skimmers, that was really cool. Now, one last thing I wanted to share with you I thought was pretty cool. I was at an actual antique store and I found a Steve Irwin action figure in an antique store with a crocodile. So I had to buy it because I really love Steve Irwin. He was super, super cool. And I just wanted to share that with you. And until next time, see you later.